Welcome back to PokerRailbird.com. I'm Terry Wood. Today, we're diving into what I like to call a pre-math video, where we'll lay the foundation for our series on poker math. If you've ever wondered just how often certain hands or scenarios actually come up in poker, this is the perfect place to start. In this video, we'll break down essential probabilities and odds that every player should understand, whether it's the odds of being dealt a premium hand or the chances of hitting those big draws by the river. Think of it as a quick, focused look at the numbers behind poker, giving you the confidence to make more informed choices on every street. Let's get into the math. Let's start by looking at the odds of actually being dealt specific hands. In poker, Great starting hands are difficult to come by, so knowing these probabilities can help set realistic expectations and guide your choices preflop. Whether it's those premium pocket pairs, suited connectors, or high card combos, each type of hand has its own unique odds of appearing. And understanding how often they come up can make a big difference in deciding when to play aggressively, when to fold, and when to be patient. Let's look at some examples. You will be dealt any random pocket pair 6% of the time, or once every 17 hands. Being dealt a specific pocket pair, such as aces, is 0.45% or once every 221 hands. Ace-king suited is even rarer than pocket aces, with you receiving it about 0.3% of your hands, or once every 332 hands. You will get ace-king off suit once every 111 hands, or about 0.9% of the time. The chance of getting either ace-king suited or ace-king off suit is 1.2%, or once every 83 hands. What about ace-x? Suited the probability is 4%, with unsuited being 11%. You will be dealt one ace 15% of the time. Therefore, there is a 15% chance of any random card being dealt to you preflop. Your pocket cards will be suited 24% of the time. However, you will only receive suited connectors 4% of your hands and off-suit connectors will make up 16% of your hands. The most critical decision in any poker hand occurs pre-flop whether to enter the hand at all. This initial choice sets the stage for the entire round. However, the second most important decision often comes after the flop, determining whether to continue or fold. At this point, understanding our probabilities of hitting needed cards becomes invaluable as it helps us gauge the potential strength of our hand moving forward. As we know, the flop is where a poker hand truly starts to take shape. Once the flop is dealt, we've seen 60% of the community cards, along with the two cards in our hand. This gives us a total of 5 out of the 7 cards that will form our best 5 card hand, meaning we've already seen 71.4% of the cards that will ultimately define the outcome. This stage is crucial for deciding whether to continue in the hand or fold, as it determines whether to commit further resources or potentially cut losses. Assessing your position with the additional information provided by the flop can significantly influence the outcome, making it a pivotal moment in any poker hand. That said, let's take a look at some potential flops and the probabilities of each. If you hold a pocket pair, you will flop a set 12% of the time, 7.33 to 1 odds. If you hold unpaired whole cards, you will flop 2 pair 2% 2 of the time, or 49 to 1 odds, with a 1% probability, or 99 to 1 odds of flopping trips, and a 32% chance, or 2.13 to 1 odds of flopping at least a pair. The flop will contain a pair 17% of the time and three of a kind having a 0.24% probability. The flop will contain two cards of one suit and one of another 55% of the time, three of the same suit 5% of the time, and will be rainbow 40% of the time. In a previous video, I explained that straight draws are inherently more complex than other hands, primarily because they fall into four distinct categories, connectors, one gap, two gap, and three gap. Each of these categories is further divided into three subcategories, at the end, near the end, and in the middle. Let's review the odds associated with each of these types. Note that these probabilities represent the chance of completing a straight from preflop to river. While odds may improve after the flop, these probabilities provide a foundational understanding of your likelihood to improve. For connectors, such as hands like Ace-King or Jack-10, 
the odds vary by placement within the subcategory. At the end, hands like Ace-King or Ace-2 have a 3% chance, or approximately 32.33 to 1 odds. In the middle hands, such as Jack-10, have a 9% probability, or 10.11 to 1 odds. With one-gap connectors like Ace-Queen or Ace-3, the odds are as follows. At the end hands, like Ace-Queen, have a 4% chance, or 24 to 1 odds of completing a straight. In the middle one-gap connectors, like Jack-9, are about a 7% probability, or 13.29 to 1 odds of completion. Moving on to two-gap connectors. At the end hands, such as Ace-Jack or Ace-4, have a 4% chance, or 24 to 1 odds to make a straight. While in the middle two gap connectors, like Queen 9 or 7 4, are about a 6% probability or 15.67 to 1 odds to complete a straight. Finally, three gap connectors universally have lower odds of completion, around a 4% probability or 24 to 1 odds, regardless of position within the category. It's also essential to note that hands like Ace King, Ace Queen, Ace-Jack or King-Queen are typically valued more for their high card strength and kicker potential rather than their probability of completing a straight. Understanding these distinctions will allow you to assess the strategic merit of each hand beyond merely aiming for straight draws. While three-gap connectors may include some high-ranking cards, they are often paired with low-ranking kickers, making these hands less favorable to play, especially when out of position. Let's examine some essential poker math insights. When playing heads up with an ace in your hand, there is an 88% chance that your opponent does not hold an ace. In a nine-handed game, there's a 25% probability that no other player holds an ace. Specifically, if heads up, the probability of neither player holding an ace is 72%. In a full nine-player table, this drops to just 13%. If you flop a set, there's a 33% chance you'll improve to a full house or better by the river. This probability breaks down to a 13% chance on the turn and a 20% chance on the river. Upgrading a pair to a set after the flop, you have approximately a 9% probability of improving to a set or better by the river. The probability of completing a flush by hitting a runner runner is 4%. If there are three or more consecutive cards on the board, there's at least a 75% chance that someone in a nine-handed game holds a straight. When three or more suited cards appear on the board, there's at least a 37% chance that at least one player has a flush in a nine-handed game. Out of 1,326 possible starting hand combinations, 70%, 936, are unsuited hands. 6%, 78 are pocket pairs, and 24%, 312 are suited hands. You will be dealt unplayable hands about 29% of the time, two cards with straight potential 41% of the time, flush potential 10% of the time, hands with straight and flush potential 14% of the time, and a pocket pair 6% of the time. These probabilities provide crucial insights to inform your strategic decisions at the poker table, not only to understand the probabilities of what you will be dealt, but knowing these statistics can also help you with putting your opponent on ranges of hands. He's Essential Poker Probabilities is key to becoming a stronger, more strategic player. By understanding the math behind your hand's potential and the odds of different outcomes, you'll be better equipped to make informed decisions that maximize your chances of winning. Remember, poker is not just about luck. It's about skill, strategy, and calculated risks. This video is the second installment in our poker math series, Introduction to Probabilities. If you enjoyed the content, please like, share, and subscribe for more insights. And for a more in-depth review of poker probabilities and a full range of poker math resources, visit PokerRailbird.com. Thanks for watching, good luck, and as always, We'll see you at the tables.